Hello, welcome back. So for video number three, I was sat thinking about the kind of look I wanted to create and I basically just combined all my favourite things in makeup. So we've got a really hyper real, glossy skin, fluffy brow, amazing vinyl shine red lip and then a really blown out winged, slightly creasy looking eye. Did do a nude lip alternative, however I've got to press record so here's a picture now and if you want to see how this was created, keep on watching. I do tend to favour more tinted and coloured bases, so I chose the paint pot in Groundwork from MAC to buff that over the whole lid and blend up towards the brow bone. Then with the most denser brush I went in with Quite Natural, again which is the paint pot, much deeper and started to create that elongation and that depth at the lash line and then just buffed the whole thing out so it was really seamless. With a much denser and a much more precise brush I then used the same product and started to work that into the lash line. The more you build this up, the more opaque it's going to be. So particularly through that outer area where I'm going to create the wing, I really built it up and started to pull the product outwards. The next product I'm going in with is a coffee pencil from MAC. Really love this colour because it's kind of an off black but much more on the brownie end as opposed to a grey tone. Working that right into the lashes, bringing it up and outwards within reason because I want to keep it quite close to the roots of the lashes. So then when I smoke it out with a square tip brush, it doesn't end up too blown out as I still want to be able to see the liner. When it gets towards the outer edge of the eye, I am bringing it outwards slightly with my brush and then layering back the product with the pencil to create that really nice sharp but blended out wing. You could also incorporate like a gel or a liquid over the top of this but I find sometimes it just takes it from being slightly more effortless to looking really constructed. So that's why I prefer to use more of a pencil, it just looks a little bit more kind of lived in and a little bit more in keeping with the kind of look that I'm going for. The final step with the liner is going in with a teeny tiny little brush from My Kit Co and Blackout Eyeshadow from Urban Decay and pressing that right into the roots. Now I'm not covering over the whole of that pencil that I applied, it is mainly a gradient from the lash line up into the pencil as I want the main bulk of the intensity to be right at the lashes and then can it almost fade out into nothing. Using a small tapered brush I'm just making sure that those two products are nicely blended and that there's no harsh lines between them and then as there's not really any product on the brush I'm just working it over the whole section just to make sure it looks extra lived in. The next product I'm using is Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerise it's a really cool tone gold, almost verging on like a platinum or a silver. And the whole purpose of this is to look like a glossy eye, but add a little bit more stability and hopefully a lot less creasing. Back in with Coffee Eye Pencil, I've worked it through the upper and lower water lines and then through the lash line to meet the wing. I want this to be a little bit messy looking because then I'm going to buff it out with the brush later, but it's just to add to that overall grungy, smudgy effect. Jess has actually got amazing skin, so I really didn't need to go in the foundation with too much coverage. So I'm actually using Face and Body from MAC. Normally I'd use my hands for this because I want to maximise the coverage, but really this is more just kind of an overall evening now and giving the next set of products something to stick to. And I'm just buffing that through with the Real Techniques contour brush, just for a really light layer of coverage. Bronzing up the skin using NARS Laguna Liquid. Loving this product actually because you can really manipulate it and if you want a super dark layer just build it up or if you want something like I'm working on Jess where it's kind of a contour, kind of a bronzer, just work it through of a freshly applied foundation and it just looks super super natural once it's all buffed in and once it's blended in because the tone is really gold and it cuts out a little bit of the red that you get with some liquid and cream bronzers. To add that hyper real glow I'm going through with a liquid highlighter and it's one of my favourite ever from Charlotte Tilbury, it's the Spotlight Beauty Light Wand and I'm working that over the highest points of the face, mainly the cheeks, but what I love about this product there is no texture, it's just pure shine, almost like a wet look shine, but a stabilised wet look shine, it's so amazing. I'm using the same brush that I use for foundation purely because I like the mix of products within the brush and as long as you work kind of within a certain routine. They all just blend together really seamlessly and really smooth. Here I'm using the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate palette. It's pretty pricey but I do really love the formula on it. Only using the contour though, so obviously it's probably not worth it if you're just getting it for the contour. Um, maybe go for mid-tone sepia from MAC or something instead. 
Because everything I've used so far is relatively liquid and relatively creamy, I want something with major lasting power. So I'm going in with Pro Wear Concealer on Jess, working it through any areas that need coverage, but also to add shape and definition into the skin. So under the eyes, under the areas that have kind of contoured, just to give a smoother overall base, but a really seamless looking base. For brows, I'm using the same technique that I've used on the very first video I did, using a clear soap, brushing it through the brows, and then drawing in individual hairs. It's not a brow look this, I wanted them to kind of almost disappear, uh, so that's why I'm going for a super light colour and very translucent effect. So the three products involved in the lips are all from MAC. It's a liquid lip in quite standout, which is a nice neutral toned red, followed with Lady Danger, which is an intense orangey red to balance out the tones, and then followed up with clear lip gloss, as I find it's probably the shiniest lip gloss I've ever found. Obviously sped up, because it's boring watching me do lips. Here is a finished look. If you like this look or you've got anything to say, please let me know in the comments below, and thanks a lot for watching. See you later. Sure I was. Go.